<laughs> Shall we go mail detecting? Greetings from the Derbyshire Dales. Look who's come to join me. It's Reynolds back out from under his rock. Today we're on uh, a very cold, frozen field. We've been here a couple of times before. Um, so, yeah, see what we can find today. Reynolds thinks he's got silver on the frozen fields today. I think it's, I think it's a penny. There's a signal. It looks like a 2p or is it half penny? Um, too small for a 2p, I think. Mean. Or is it a shilling? No, it can't be a shilling. Not with that number. So I think it's a, it's a 1950s half penny that is. All day. It's a fresh out day today. Reynolds has had a musket ball possibly. And he's had a, one of them four old buttons as well. I haven't yet to find anything. Well, I'm having a brew because I'm actually freezing. What you got? Coin for Reynolds again. I think it's a modern 1p, mate. Battered modern 1p. Yeah. Oh well. Solid 84, and I think I've had my first coin. It's definitely round. It's a George V half penny caked in ice cold mud. What well, a coin's a coin. And on a day like today, bitterly cold. Today, it's a tiny button. Another button for Reynolds. Nothing exciting. Nothing on it. Yep. I've been on these fields a couple of times before. Find quite a few bits and pieces on here, but we thought we'd give it another try today. Solid 88, open her up, I've got a big, big old penny. George V, my boy, to go with me half penny. Cool, let's carry on. Reynolds had his old favourite, Thimble, number 50. Since it's been detected with me. Never had a silver one yet. Never had a silver one. Oh, it's cold. Got my XP RX on coin fast today, as usual. I think I've got another coin here. But I also think I've wrapped it around the end of my spade. What was it? 1914 Big Penny. Look at that, I've absolutely clouted that into next week. Luckily, it's only George Fifth Penny, and I've got about 10,000 of those at home, so never mind. Reynolds got a signal here, it's coming up 62 on my machine. It's 12. It's the colour, colour in the soil, so 12 on his, it's not very deep though. It's got to be a ring pull. Oh, here we go. Let's get the pinpoint out, is that it? He's like waiting for Christmas, isn't it? Oh, oh nice. Another signal for Reynolds. I'm saying big coin. I was getting a nice faint 96, 97. Get He's getting into to buying. High numbers on both machines. Feels quite deep as well. I 
I'm going to say George the Third Big Penny. That's what my Gothic flooring was coming up the other day, the other week. It's on my bucket list, one of Big, big solid 97 that was. Oh, it's going to be deep lead. Is that it? Yeah. Cartwheel penny. Cartwheel. Said it'd be a big coin. And you said it'd be iron. I'm going back in because I think it's iron in there. Let's have a look. Big wad of copper. Not a too bad condition as well, that one for a cartwheel. My next target, a big old spoon, probably pewter. Very deep that was, perhaps eight inches, something like that. Reynolds is onto something over there. Next up, that's where I had the spoon bowl from, just there. Got a really iffy, deep signal next to it. I reckon it's going to be a horse harness loop, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just. It's one of them, a loop of some kind. Well, we're back on button corner. I've been around here before and it was full of buttons. But today, we've got another little loop thing here. Reynolds has got a spoon bowl. A lot of mine earlier, but smaller. Definitely smaller as a potato around here. Next up for me, it's coming in solid 90. About four inches deep, something like that. I've either got a coin or a button, and it's looking like a button down in button corner. Whoops. Yep, cool, let's carry on. Got a pewter button. You thought you had a clump of coins. And I've just had this under this root, solid 90. And what have we got? It's like a George III half penny, something like that. Crusty copper. Still stuff here though, that's for sure. Next up for me, pretty deep this was in amongst the roots. And it's another horse harness loop. Probably medieval. Cool. This one looks interesting, solid 66. It's looking like some sort of brooch, maybe. Oops, possibly a buckle. Not sure, and that one never seen anything like it. Anyone's got any ideas what that might be? Is it a buckle? Looks old, that's for sure. Reynolds has come over with another button from Button Corner. That's looking like a military one. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh dear. Oh, no. <laughs> it's one of them crumbly, pewtery button. A little button up for Reynolds in button corner, and look at that, it's a little fancy one. It's ever so small. Got to be hammered on here somewhere. Well, I'll make that lunchtime, and I've got an enormous cob today. It's called a cobbler or something. Literally just chopped it in half and then sliced it in half, filled it full of and mayo, butter, and lettuce. The size of it. Little bunny footprints. I wonder how deep this is. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure about that. Another big old penny for me by the looks of it. Side 86, opened it up uh, and it did come flying out. And look at that. Queen Victoria. Big penny. The date of 1871. Cool. Couple of signals to Reynolds. It's looking like two buttons. Yeah, pewter button. button number one. And a coppery button is that one. It's a coin. Oh, is it? I think. 
Might be. Okay. Feels like a coin, doesn't it? No sign of any shank. Yeah, I'd class that as a coin. Well, we both thought we'd got silver then. I'd got this big chunky silvery thing, but it's a pewter button. And he's got exactly the same look. Pewter buttons all around. My next signal. Look at this huge buckle. Looks like it's got some age to it as well. Yeah. Not the most exciting buckle in the world, but still. A little signal for Reynolds, and it's looking like a uh, clasp. Clog clasp, maybe. Something like that. I've stuff off here like that before. Yeah. Well, he's had his favourite again. Another thin ball for Reynolds. It's looking complete this time. Still not silver. Still not silver. <laughs> and I've just had this tiny little button. Yeah, we'll find another hot spot in this corner, that's for sure. Notebook junk, though. Well, Reynolds has just rinsed this little corner, and I've come over and had a blast. And he's missed a right sitter. Solid 94. Look at that, it's a big coin in there. I can get it out. Ooh, that's looking like a, a George the First as well, that is. It's in nice condition. <laughs> yeah, that's going to clean up well, I think. I'll come back to you with that one. Meanwhile, what's he found? I think it's another button. Or is it? Coin or button? It's a coin, it's very thin. Very, very thin, that is. There you go, look at that. It's cleaned up lovely. That's not bad for a George the First. That's 300 years old. 1727, I reckon that is. Not a bad coin, that. The one that he's missed and left for me. <laughs> Tiny pewter button corner, I've just had a tiny one. Oh, why do we drop stuff on a video in it? Yeah, it's absolutely minuscule. He's got one and all, a little bit bigger. <laughs> They're everywhere. Pewter button. Next up, it's looking like an yet another medieval horse harness loop ring thing. He's had a bunch more pewter buttons. I've had two more as well. It's everywhere on here. Button corner version two. Well, Reynolds is off over there somewhere, other side of these trees. I decided to come into this little woodland. It was just looking uh, appetizing, nice and short. Got a solid 92. Look at this. It's got to be a coin on it. Georgian coin. George III, William III, something like that. Cool, let's carry on. Nerf gun in the woods. How's that for a find? <laughs> Reynolds has had a buckle and he's busted it. Yep. Is it a buckle? No, I'm not sure. Probably. I feel like I'm in a game. Duke Nukem. <laughs> you have to get your hand in. You got it. <laughs> Jesus, you want to be careful with that. <laughs> Reynolds is in there somewhere. I had to get out of there. This was coming in. Mid 80s, not the best signal, but look at that. We've got a, a beat up coin of some sort. I couldn't tell you what. I had a George V shilling out of here last time we were here, so I'm doing this bit again. He's had some bits while I've been over there. Look at that, he's had a Jew's Harp in the woods. It's in very good condition as well. He's had yet another thimble. 
That is fourth of the day. And some more buttons and bits. But we're gonna make our way back to the car now. Get out of these woods. Well that's me and Reynolds done for today. We've had a bunch of crusty stuff, copper coins, loads of buttons, pewter buttons, bits of spoon, bubbles. Uh, that's about it, isn't it really? Uh, juice um, oh yeah, he's had a juice arm, probably the uh, most interesting find of the day. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch you on the next one. So here are my finds today with Reynolds, back on the fields, not a great deal but um, we were only there for about three hours. We'll start at the back, so we've got some medieval horse harness rings I believe, a couple of buckles, big massive buckle there, all the usual buttons that we find on those fields, There's some crusty copper coins, a Queen Victoria penny, George V penny and a half penny and then this was by far my best find uh, and that's what Reynolds missed with his mind lab he just didn't walk over it though unfortunately and it's a George the first half penny I reckon possibly a father I'm not actually sure but anyway thanks for watching see you on the next <laughs>